Hello and welcome. So I've got a little bit of explaining to do first and it will tie everything in together. If you may notice the room is quite messy. B, you might notice that my voice is a little bit weird and a little bit out of breath, a little bit husky and I may look even paler than usual. If you watch my videos regularly you'll also notice I didn't post anything on Saturday. The reason for all of these things is simple. I have been quite unwell. I've had the flu. Luckily it definitely was the flu. It wasn't coronavirus. Didn't quite have the same symptoms as coronavirus although there is a lap over of symptoms but I was, I started out thinking that I just had a cold passed on to me by my wonderful other half because he had the same symptoms sneezing a lot, runny nose, blocked up nose, was able to just kind of carry on with things and that started last week. After about three or four days I was taking tablets, I was trying to get rid of it, I felt fine. Once, once I'd taken tablets I felt fine and I was able to start getting on with things but after about two or three days it really hit me with the kind of like aches and pains and those sorts of things and I've not really been able to do a lot. I was hoping to do a video for Saturday, like on Friday, Saturday time. I was completely unable to do so. I was just miserable. Carried on taking the tablets and everything, but I'm still just kind of at the tail end of it. So this is why my voice is a little bit blur. It's because I am quite dehydrated from being ill. That makes me a little bit husky. This is actually the first time I've got fully dressed in about four or five days and I did manage to have a bath at the weekend and that did help a bit as well. That's what's been going on the past few days and everything kind of went a little bit mental at the same time. I've been having counselling that's been going fantastic, my therapist is amazing, she's been helping with a lot of things. I had my needs assessment a couple of weeks ago and I hadn't heard anything back so I actually emailed them and finally after a couple of days somebody got in touch with me by email to say the assessor was unavailable, will be unavailable for a few weeks and they'll, they've passed a message on to them and as soon as they are available they'll get in touch with me which is pretty bad. When somebody is asking for help they shouldn't then be yet again just left. So that is, that's pretty bad. So I'm sitting around waiting for that. And then yesterday I got a random phone call from the hospital to say, ringing to book you in for your MRI. What MRI? I was so confused. Like, MRI? What for? You're ringing the right person? And there was like, yeah, Dr. So and so has referred you for an MRI. I was like, okay, so they dropped the name of my gastroenterologist who's covering everything that's been going on. I was like, okay, that, that's fine. Then I was like, okay, great. Nobody told me about this. Completely threw me for a loop, which meant I didn't ask any questions that I should have asked. So that's booked in for a week on Saturday. No idea what's going on. No idea why I'm having the MRI. What they're, well, I kind of know why I'm having the MRI, but I don't know what they're looking for. I don't know if during my last procedure any biopsies were taken. If they were, then I've not been told what the results of those were. I've just literally not been told anything. So again, another department with a lack of communication. This doctor actually is really good, so I'm quite surprised by this lack of communication because he's usually really good with these sorts of things. Until I receive the information through the post, don't really know what's going on there. The only information that I was given over the phone was that a couple of days beforehand I have to follow a strict, strict diet and that I have to take some prep. I don't know if this prep has to be taken at home, I don't know if it has to be taken at the hospital. I have no idea what the prep actually is. Because I've been ill for like over a week, it also means that I am now behind on a lot of other things. Now luckily, I did get in contact with where I was meant to be starting work. I still do have the job, not starting until the week starting 4th of January. So that takes the pressure off because I'm not actually starting work until after Christmas. All presents are bought, they just need wrapping. Was going to do wrapping on Monday while I was on my own. Wasn't going to happen. I was in bed all day. Could barely stand. There's no presents wrapped yet, so I know I need to get them done at some point soon. It also meant my landlady's husband was meant to be coming last week. He rang me on the Wednesday to say, 
I can be there in an hour and I was like, not a chance because I have flu when I'm in bed. Not looking forward to him actually coming to fix the things as much as they need fixing. The amount of times I've had to stop myself from ringing or texting the guy to say, don't bother. It's somebody coming into what I consider my personal space. It throws everything up in the air. I don't know how long it's going to take. It kind of makes the house unsafe for my cat. There's a risk of him getting out because windows are being fixed. So windows may be being opened and I don't want him dashing into the room and diving out of a window. So I'm going to be just constantly on edge and worried while the guy is here. And I obviously don't want to put myself into that situation if I don't have to. But the thing is, is that I really do have to. So I'm pushing myself to get this guy round, get these things sorted. I also don't know how noisy it's going to be. That's going to affect me. But that's everything that's been going on with me lately. That's the reason why I didn't get a video out. The reason why my house is a mess at the moment. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a video out by this Saturday. Hopefully, I'll be better by then. Hopefully, next week's vlog will be a little bit more chipper. And maybe I might have something a bit happier to talk about. We shall see. But until then, I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.